This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this skyline text effect where the text appears as if it's going in front of these buildings over here but behind these buildings over here. And if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial I will have a link to this image in the description of the video. And if you'd like to purchase this font I'll also have a link to this font as well. I believe it's $15 and the license allows you to use it commercially for client work for whatever you'd like to do with it. Otherwise you could use any font you'd like. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up the image with GIMP and there's our image and what we want to do now before we create our text is we want to set our colors over here. By default when you open up GIMP you'll have black in the foreground and white as the background. I'm just going to flip that around with this little uh, flip button over here to make white the foreground and black the background. That'll, that'll make it so that when we create our text it comes out white because as you see in the thumbnail we're going to want to use white text with this particular image. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll grab the text tool and click on the canvas over here. I'm just going to write the word skyline. You can use whatever word you want. This is a little small. You're not going to really be able to see it um, on my screen anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and choose the font that I want to use, which is uh, in my case, I'm using the Skywalker font. There's that. And I'm just going to make this larger with this button over here. Enlarge that. Maybe to about that big. That's pretty good. And what I'll do now is I'll grab the uh, alignment tool, click on that, and then click on the text right here. So we get these little four corner nodes. That's how you know the alignment tool is activated with that layer. And I'm going to change the relative to, I'm going to switch that over to image. And I'm going to uh, align that on the uh, center of the target and the middle of the target as well. So these two middle icons right there, center it up on the uh, on the page right there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to where it says opacity and I'm going to drop that down really low, almost to the point where you can't really see the text. So what we want to do now is we want to erase parts of the text that are overlapping uh, with the building part that we want to be shown in front of it. So like you see here, we got these buildings showing in front of this text. I'm going to create a path going around the shape of this building and then use that path to create a selection and delete that chunk out of the text. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to leave the text right here in front of these buildings, but I'm going to delete it right here. So I'm going to drop this back down a little bit. Let me zoom in on this area. I'm just going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel. And I'm going to grab the paths tool, which is over here. Keyboard shortcut is B. And I'm going, to click, go, I'm going to create a path going along the edge of this skyscraper right here. I'm going to start outside of the text and click to put a point right there. And I'll come up here and click to put another point up near the top corner. And I'll put another point right there. And then coming straight through here to this corner of this building. And don't worry if it's off a little bit. We can go and correct that once we're finished. So I'll come up here following along the edge of this building. I'm going to end this right here because that's as far as it needs to go because that's the text right there. Um, I'll, I'll continue the line over here. I'll bring this line straight down by clicking right. Uh, actually, no. I have to go down here to this angle of the building. and Bring this down to here. And again, to zoom in and out, I'm just holding control and rolling up and down the mouse wheel. And like I said, don't worry about it being completely accurately aligned with the edges of the building because we're going to go back and edit that in just a minute. And then once we're done, we just go ahead and click, continue the line going back to the starting point and then hold control and click on the starting point to connect it all together. And now what we could do is take these individual nodes and adjust them as needed so that it lines up a little better with the edge of the building. You'll do that like that. Uh, I'm going to adjust this one a little bit. This one looks uh, like it's in a little too far. We'll put that right about there. Same thing over here. This one looks like it's out. It's in a little too far. Put that right there like that. And to move the page around, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. And once you have it adjusted how you like it, just go ahead and press enter on the keyboard and it's going to create a selection. And if you're using Windows or Linux, you could press delete on the keyboard. If you're using Mac, just go to edit and clear. 
And once you hit delete on the keyboard, it's going to delete that area of the text out. And if you bring the opacity all the way up, we'll see it. I missed a little bit right there, but that's all right. I can go correct that in just a minute. And once we've done that, we can go to select none and then click off of that tool onto another tool to get rid of those paths. So I'll click on the, uh, well, in my case, I'm actually going to click on the erase tool and just get rid of that segment. And as you can see, we've taken out a chunk of that text. So what I'm going to do now is come over here and delete out this part of the text. Uh, where So it goes beneath these buildings as well. So I'll bring the opacity of that back down. I'll go back to the paths tool. And again, I'm going to start a point. Oops, I'm going to start a point right here. Bring this straight through. Let me zoom in on this to get a little, little more precise. And that's not completely straight going vertical. That's going up to the left a little bit. But like I said, we can go back and correct that after we're done creating all the points. Bring this around back to the starting point. And again, to connect it back to the starting point, we're holding control and then clicking it. If you just click on it, it won't work. You got to hold control. So um, let me just go and correct these lines now by adjusting these nodes. And that looks pretty good. And once we're done, we just press enter on the keyboard to create a selection and then go to uh, edit clear. Now we can go to select none and go back to the uh, move tool, bring the opacity all the way up. And if you zoom out, you'll see we're just about finished. We've created our skyline text effect. The only problem you'll have now is if like you zoom out a little bit, it may be a little difficult to view the actual text, especially if the sky is like a very light color. It may wash in with the white a little bit. If you'd like, what you could also do is create a new layer with this button over here. Create a new layer and add it to the image. Go ahead and select transparency and click OK. And then I want to take this new layer and click and drag it so it goes beneath the skyline text. And what I'll do is I'll go to edit, fill with background color. And that's going to fill that in with black. And then we could take the opacity and bring that down really low. Maybe it's something like that. And if you toggle the visibility of that layer on and off, you'll see the difference. Without it, it's a little, a little more difficult to read the text. It's not too difficult. You really don't need this, but I just think some, in some instances you may need something like this. If you toggle it back on, you'll see the darkness adds some separation between the image and the text so that you can see it a little better, especially when you zoom out to small sizes, which is important. So um, I'll just toggle that off. So I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. That's how you can create that skyline text effect using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.